But if we go to this gap in ur urban planning data, like, why do you think it is? Like, why is it that nobody's bothered to aggregate all of this data and put it in one place? Um, that's a really great question. I think it comes down to what we consider as evidence and what we see more as personal opinion today. For generations, planners within my profession would assure the public as experts that zoning wide swaths of land with super restrictive regulations would have little to no impact. Same goes with development charges for years. People would say, oh yeah, high development charges has no impact. And when you have low housing prices, nobody cares. And so for the few voices out there saying, hey, this stuff is going to cause problems in the future. Let's try to get ourselves organized and ready for it. Let's do good governance. There's no reason to listen to them. There's no impetus to listen to them. Over the years, a lot of research has been done on zoning, not by planners, but outside of the field by economists. And, and really, it's the planners who own the zoning data. And it's really incumbent on us to care about this information. Because, you know, I always say, if you want to be responsible for something, you have to act responsibly. And the time is here that we have to roll up our sleeves and say, we got to solve this issue of, of lack of data.